fade as everything comes round again. What kind of a web am I spinning? Oh. It's Michael. He's living in the mountains and he builds his own cabin. He says he's never been happier with himself or more together. Hi, Marshall. Come on, Jenny. How's it going, Robert? Still hanging out with the dorm rats? And as we all know, negative feelings naturally breed negative feelings, right? And conversely, positivity, honest positivity. Well, how nice of you to join us. Well, that's okay. I'm glad we can make it. So, in the discussion of the dynamics of change, we're told by our philosophers and our theologians that we of the 20th century are concluding the Piscean Age and approaching the Aquarian Age. Our world is indeed a new world, and it's an exciting world. Yet at the same time, we have to understand that those things that we've been taught, our theories, our feelings of the, the nature of things, fast becoming obsolete. Traditions are falling by the wayside. Age-old beliefs are just being thrown away and disappearing, as is the family unit. What was practical yesterday doesn't work today. It's passé, yeah? So now, let's, uh, let's throw this to an open forum discussion, shall we? Well, what do we have to hold on to anymore? I mean, it just seems to me like we've lost touch with our roots. Right on. Well, where do you suppose your roots are? In her pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think... I think that our roots are in Earth. All right. I think our roots are in heaven. Oh, crap. What's that supposed to mean? God. I, um, I have a friend. Some of you may remember Michael Sutherland. Well, he dropped out his freshman year and he went to the wilderness. And I just hey, got a letter from him. Now, wait a minute. Now, you know you're talking about a guy that was a dope or a freak. Now, he dropped out because he couldn't cope. That's not true. He couldn't cope with the likes of someone like you. Or the likes of your rah-rah frat, or the likes of a lot of civilized society as we know it. I mean, Michael's the type of guy that went up to the wilderness... That's nothing new, is it? I mean, people have been dropping out for a long time, saying, I have the answer. Well, what's your answer, Marshal? The cold-hearted people with warm-hearted reasons said about Michael? But lately, I don't like a lot of what you're saying. Oh. I 
I know what I said, Jimmy. You know, Michael can't face life. That's why he ran away to the woods. Well, he says he's looking for meaning. Bullshit. You know, times have changed. People aren't into heavy trips anymore. The meaning's right here. It's with all these kids. You've got to stick something out if you want to make it work. Well, I don't necessarily buy that. I've stuck it out. And what? I don't believe you. <laughs> Do you know how many girls would love to be in your shoes? I mean, head cheerleader, homecoming queen, and you can't find a meaning? There's a lot more to life than that. I mean, after all the fun and games are finished, what do I have? Me. Want to play the slot machine? Oh, I never gamble. Unless I can win. Oh, well, that's fixed. But I'm flexible. Besides, she can't hold you with one arm like I can with two. Oh, you want to dance, honey? Oh, down and dirty. <laughs> you talking or do I need to make a reservation? Quit. What's with you two? Hey, come on, Marshall. Let's dance. Hey, you're still talking about that other idiot, Michael? He's not an idiot. You know, you're really beginning to piss me off. You're so damn insensitive. You can really be a bitch sometimes, you know it? Come on, Marshall. Mm, talk about insensitivity. Marsha, you're so damn narrow, all you can do is relate things back to yourself. Okay, that does it. Both of you, get the hell out of my house. Hey, why don't you go up to the mountain and play the candy-ass friend? Oh, come on, it's okay. He really doesn't need me. No, it's not such a bad idea after all. I think it's a great idea. Okay. <laughs> all right, everybody, come on, let's go. Let's get going. Oh, yeah. I'll get on the back. Oh. 
Maybe we should wait until morning. Nope. Keep on driving. Jenny, I'm sorry. If I scared you, I'm really sorry. What do you mean, no? Come on! I'll take care of it. You what? <laughs> Butt out, huh? I mean, just get in your car and please, get the hell out of here. Easy, Marshall. You better go. I'll wait. Come on. Come without Jenny. You know, all you want to do is get up there and get in her pants. Marshal. It's over. Are you sure we didn't pass the turn? Very sure. I knew we should have turned. 
turn up here. You're right, Robert. I should have said something. You'd stand in line for hours to take a ride on that first atomic powered rocket ship at 50. You wouldn't stand in line to take a ride on a magic carpet through Shangri La on a pass. In fact, the only thing you'd stand in line for is a place to sit down. And at 21, a girl smiled at you and gave you that knowing look. You'd wander onto the next weighing machine mirror to see why you were so handsome. At 50, you'd look to see who's behind you or what's unbuttoned. You've been such a splendid audience. I think I'll do the first little song for you. We are poor little lambs who have lost our way. Baba. Come in, come in, come in. I'm doing a little bit of my natural diet. Come in, people are being Baba. Gentlemen songsters off on a spree, doomed from here to eternity. God have mercy on such as me. Before? Yes, it's become a sort of classic. It's one of thousands that I introduced over the airways in the days of big time radio. See, radio brought me to fame and fortune. I was one of the first to show the great power of radio, to make the networks really great and famous and possible. But today they've forgotten. You go through all the television studios out there, particularly in Burbank, in the hallways, the pictures of all the young television stars, but no pictures of Amos and Andy, those of us who made radio truly great. A bit disillusioning, but. After 20 years of radio and 20 years of show business, I decided to come up here and get away from it all. Now, what can I do for you? Well, we're looking for a friend. A friend? Come out here, I have something for you. Come this way. I have a real treat for you. A really delicious treat. How far have you traveled? Oh, about 150 miles. 150 miles? In that thing? Amazing incredulous. But you must try this candy. They're called licorice nips. And they're made in Culver City, California. The most delicious hard licorice candy you've ever tasted. Now, let them melt in your mouth. Just don't crush them. Just let them melt gently in your mouth. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, where are you going? Hmm. Was this mailed from here? Yes, that's my postmark. Who mailed it? Michael Sutherland. He's about 21, blonde. Do you remember him? Yes, I, I know Sutherland. I haven't seen him in some time. I believe he lives at uh, Navarro Ridge, right? Yes. Do you know how we could find him? No, I haven't been to his place and I have no desire to. It's much too dangerous and too far to travel, especially to someone who's not a native of these parts. A lot of strange things have happened here in this wilderness. Well, we'll only be up there for a couple of days. I think we'll make it. Make it? Impetuous youth. You always can make it. Just a moment. May I suggest you take this knife? About Michael. Well, I said I've never been there. More candy? Oh, no, thank you. Might you point us in the direction of Navarro Ridge? I told you it's very, very hazardous. Now, I'm going to insist you take this knife with you for your protection. A lot of young persons have left these parts and never been seen again. 
This is a real bargain. $14.95. He's in paid price. $14.95. Well, I, I think Michael might have the necessities for our trip. Besides, I don't hunt. Yes, but suppose you're the one who's being hunted. Yes, sir. How do we get to that ridge? You're impossible. You can't do that trail alone. You go across the road, get on the trail, the end of the trail, you're at the bottom of the Navarro Ridge. I liked your song. Thank you. Now, you take good care of her. You take good care of her. And don't say that I didn't warn you. Maybe we should have bought the knives. Oh, not all that old man. He tried to sell ice to an Eskimo. Oh, Blackberry. Oh, you know, Michael's so right about all this out here. And the daisies are so beautiful. I think I'm going to pick a couple. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, now that's poison oak. Here, have another berry. Oh. before we get there. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know where there is. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'll just take these things off. something. Scotch and water. How about a warm beer instead? <laughs> <For me>. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? Great. Like we have to go back now. Good. No, come on. You're bananas if you think I'm going up that hill. Well, we have to get up there before dark. I'll see you. No, Robert.
And we'll camp here. Oh. Here, let's make a fire. Exhausted. Oh, the stars, Robert. They're so beautiful. Or something. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm almost too tired to eat anyhow. Isn't he cute? He's a pig. He was beautiful. Hey, Jenny! Jenny! <laughs> Breakfast, mademoiselle. Like your Al Jolson. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you really ask it for it, lady. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up the nest. Yes, yes, yes. Not making or breaking any more promises. Running like the wind for no reason. Bouncing on. 
off the light of the morning sun. Time used to be my master, leading me on while I chased it faster and faster. But starting from today, I'm gonna stop and take the time to take the time I've got. Plastic cobwebs, electric eyes Leaving all the things that made me tell those lies Laughing at my feet for no reason Swinging on the rays of the morning sun Time used to be my master Take the time to take the time I've Jenny? Jenny? is just outstanding. Pretty nice, huh, Jenny? Robert, look at this. Yeah. A garden of plenty. I'm stuff. Oh, I cook. You clean. I'm going down to the pond we passed by. Liberation. Yeah, it looks 
looks like a faggot. Well, she asked him if he wants to kiss you. Shut up, Danko. He's getting closer. I bet he grabs your big old tit. Of course that's what he's going to do. He's going to get some BT. What do you think he's in the water for? Oh, I'd like to die for her sponge. You know something? That is all you think about your one-eyed trouser trout. Now, just shut up. i got to tell her I'm here. Danko. Thank <laughs> Hey, sister, let me wash you. Do you want something? Shut up, thank you, you stupid shit. Sorry. <laughs> he don't always got control of his facility. He's dumb. No, no, I I, I, I mean, he's he's sweet. He's, he's really sweet. Yeah. He just means to be friendly. Ain't that right, Dinky? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want something? Now, don't get hostile, Curly. Do not get hostile. Now, all I want to know is what you two are doing up here all by yourselves. We came up here to see a friend. A friend. That's sweet. Do, do you know Michael Sutherland? Well, I know everybody. But none of them by their names, only by their faces. I'm one of those people who never forgets a face, you know? <laughs> but if you mean him, yeah, we've seen it. I want you to go for them. It's close. I'm cool. Have you seen him lately? No. I ain't like staying, Mama. Your name's Jenny. I ain't like staying, Mama. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Sorry that I didn't introduce myself. Thank her, you should be ashamed, you dingus. Introduce yourself. Oh, hi. I'm Danker, Zipper. This here's Darvon. D Darvon? Levon. L E V O with a slash over the O N. Levon, that's French, man. The lizard. Thank God. Well, anyway, it's, it's always nice to meet sweet mamas and their boys. Say, you got guns? No? Why? Hey, why is she getting out? I wanted to swim with her. Guess maybe she's tired. Well, maybe you better tell her to get some rest. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace and love, brother. Peace and love. We don't mean no harm, you know. See, we're looking for poachers. And if there's one thing I don't like on my land, it's poachers. They're filthy scum sucking pigs. They're filthy, you know. But you know something? I know you're okay, Curly. I know it. Bye bye. So long. Oh. Hey, want me to show you how to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dinky. <laughs> Got him, man. Those were some of the weirdest guys I think I've ever come across. They sure were. I wish we could lock that door. Well, maybe it's our imagination, but if those guys wanted to do something, they would have done it by now. We need some more firewood. Well, this fire should be going all night. Wanna come out with me? Well, you can go out by yourself if you want to. Oh, no way. Come on.
Do you think Michael's coming back soon? Well, if he's not here by the morning, I guess we'll have to go on back. You know, I really don't care if Michael comes back. I'm just glad I'm up here with you. Well, what are you staring at? If you could see anything, what would you want to see? Tomorrow sunshine. All I'm asking you 
to do is show me the sunlight that I've known. Oh, morning, you're my oldest, dearest friend. If you leave me now, I'll always be Surprise. Michael, don't go in there. Why? I want to see her. Jenny was raped last night. Oh, my God. Is she hurt? Bad? Are you okay? Hey, don't worry. Easy. Come on. How long you been here? Oh, a couple days. No, no, no. I, I mean, how long has she been alone? It's a few hours. Hey, you sure you're okay? <laughs> oh, all right. I'm gonna go see how she is. Don't worry. Tell her I love her. Hi, Jenny. It's good to see you. I just saw Robert. You guys are really something. Coming all the way up here just to see me. How'd you like some tea, huh? Yeah, that's good. Some nice, piping hot uh, herbal tea. Let's see, what would you like? Uh, hmm. Yerba buena? Hmm. Let's see. Rose hips? No. Um, comfrey? Hey, anything you want. I've been gathering it all afternoon. Oh, amazing Mother Nature. I must have walked some 40 miles today to get that comfrey. I've got poison oak all over my legs. It's like crazy. I'll tell you, it's enough to drive you crazy. I know the best tea for you. Penny Royale. Hmm? Yeah, that's the one. Wakes you up and gets you going. How about it, Jenny? Damn. 
Nothing worse than an itch you can't scratch. The more you scratch it, the worse it gets. And if you try to forget about it, the itch just makes you climb the wall. You know what I mean? All right. I guess you just got to think about something else. You know, that's, uh, that's true with just about anything. You have to let go of the itch and forget about the scratching. You have to think about the good things and drive that devil out of your house. He's gone now, Jenny. What's done can't be undone, but... <sighs> Hell. All it really comes down to is carrying on. That's all that really matters. We've got to carry on. <sighs> that's it, that's it. Come on now, drive that devil out. sound like bullshit, but I wouldn't know how else to deal with it, how else to justify it. Do you know what I mean?
asleep. She's stronger than I thought. She's doing the right thing. She's putting it together for herself without words. She's just into herself. Thank you, Margo. How many? Two of them. She resists. Hear that? Listen to what I suggest. I suggest that you go right over there on those bushes and whistle your lizard. And don't cross me, Danker. I mean it. So what are you going to do about it? You're going to kick my ass? No, I might. You're going to cross me, aren't you? You're going to cross me. After all I've done for you, teaching you how to stay alive, how to survive out here. Oh, crap. You know what? You're jealous. You couldn't get it up last night, and I could. You still got that sheep's disease. <laughs> now, you just wait one minute. One minute. Listen for a second. Listen. What if? What if you kill that bitch last night? Oh, that's right, Dink. You have got to think. You've got to think. And even if you didn't, they're going to be waiting for us. Oh, we saw that other boy come in here this morning. Oh, hell. How many kills we made together? Huh? You're right, Dad. You're right. And I'm sorry. I am sorry. Okay, then. Let's go on up there. So sorry. Oh, jeez! But I didn't oh. do that sooner. You know something. You want to know something? You make me puke, you dumbass. You make me puke. I'm going to kill you, son of a bitch! Oh. Ah. Get him, Curly! Cut him! Come on, boy. Can you make it? Sure. It's Robert. Cut him, Curly! Get him, Levon! Get him, Dan. Come on, get him! Get him! Don't get him! Cut him there! Get you! Get! Get! Ah, shit! 
You son of a bitch! I'll show you! Get him! Your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. Even as the stone of the fruit must break 
that its heart may stand in the sun. So must you know pain. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. What do I need to stay?